Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, we're going into uh, Frixton now to try and find a professor of monsters that he might be able to help us locate a dragon. This is the good doctor. Ciao. Like a few, there are sort of establishments in town to support you on your adventure. Would you like to get out and explain? No, we're good. We'll figure them out. The establishments are here to help you, so don't be a stranger. Gotcha. Hello. It seems the sound of a flute could once often be heard coming from the doctor's house. His neighbors complained about the noise, though, and all has been quiet since. Oh, great. What a fucking cool story. Well, if it isn't, the you've clearly Oops. been mistaken for someone else. But the innkeeper looks so excited that you dare not burst or bubble. Your room is free. Okay. Oh, that's kind of rude. You're lying to her. Uh, sure. The man says you'll need a torch to explore caves. And, he adds, it just so happens you can buy them at the item shop. You get the feeling he probably works for said shop. Okie dokie. He's scrubbing. The man scours his skin with a washcloth, trying to rid himself of all odor. Apparently, he blames his natural musk for his unlucky love life. You catch a whiff of scent wafting off him. It is rather pungent. An idea strikes you. Maybe getting rid of the toxins within the body would get rid of the odor without, too. I thought you are afraid by giving him an antidote. Sure not. Yeah. You hand him an antidote and he chugs it down. As soon as he's finished, the odor completely disappears. Overjoyed, the man resolves to tell the person he likes how he feels. From his breast pocket, the man pulls out something to give you in thanks. Ah, uh, two. <laughs> Series card two is quiet. Great. Okay, this. This is the game parlor. Come play cards, the boy at reception calls. I thought that's what I was already doing. But sure, okay. Is there an explanation of basic rules for playing? Ugh, yeah, I guess so. Tell me the rules. Okay, the goal to use cards to get more points than the other players, okay? You get more points by uh, arranging your cards into sets, matching cards or consecutive straights, okay? Try making a set. When the game starts, each player is dealt their hand one card at a time. Dog's turn. Uh, then everyone takes their action in turn order. Go first. Draw two cards in the deck. Okay. I've got two pair. Oh no, I've got two pair. I've got a pair. You the same number. Alright. The says we have four points. Oh, yes. When you make a set, you earn points equal to the sum of numbers of cards. For many cards left over, you can choose to remain in your hand. The end of your turn, next player. There are many cards that make a set when that happens. You have to discard all cards, all but one card from your hand. Right, your turn. Let's explain the next play. Okay. 
This is your player card. That's where you can see how many points you have. Okay. Sets you've made here. Three sets at one time. See what you have left in your hand here. Yeah, I have an ace. So I want this. So I can take this. The part at the top, any player can use these cards when making a set. The remaining the cards remaining in the deck is shown in the upper left. Reaches zero, the game is over. The play screen, let's return to the game. I believe it was your turn. Cards of the deck. Right, I'm making a pot. Let's do three cards to save them. Okay, so this one, this one, then this one. Sure. Oh, but I could have done one, two, three, four, look. Yeah, he has a four. Oh. Out of the deck, okay. You can also make sets second and on them. Maybe make one set per turn. You can make a two card set with threes or a three card set with two, three, and four. Okay, so you can make a two card set with the threes or a three card set with two, three, and four. Oh, surely I want the. Two, three, four, right? Four points. Talking about sets, you can make sets from two or three cards, the same number, three consecutive numbered cards. Make one set per ten. You make a fourth set, you'll have to discard one of the sets that you already have. Okay. So he can do one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Go back a little bit. There's no more cards in the deck, that means it's the last turn. Last not least, let me explain the menu screen. Bring up the menu with the escape key to look at the rule book to decide to abandon the game. Complete a set of two to three cards, the same number. So we want that one. Yes, because that's worth more than this set here. I don't want that one, that's the least. Apparently he beat us? Oh no, we won, okay. Sorry, I fought. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, great. Let's play an actual game then, shall we? Do you play cards? Yes. I would love to. Yeah, that, that one's fun. Super opponent. Yeah, sure, just go. Fuck. <laughs> like, just let me play a game. Right, so he has a six. Oh, I don't have any. The discard until you have one card in your hand. Get rid of this one. No, we should get rid of that one. Oh, I fucked up. He has a six, right? 
we should get rid of the eight because we don't want him to do six, seven, eight, for example. Oh, cock. <laughs> we fucked up. That ain't good. But if we put the seven there, we would have been in even more deep shit, right? Okay, that's not good, but we'll take them. Yes. Ah, so he could make us out of those now, but he's going to discard the seven, right? Surely. Discard the one. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Oh, oh, that's a good one. So we can do six, seven, and eight. We lucked out there. Lucked out there hard. You want that set and not the two fours? Why would you not want the two fours? I don't understand why he's handing it to me. Like, why would you do that, right? I think all of them. Five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll take that one. We're gonna dump our dump our sixer. Oh damn! Okay. can make. That's not worth anything compared to what we have, so we don't want this. Do I have to? Yeah, make that set, but I don't want to... I don't want to put it on. The set we just made. I don't want that set. <laughs> He's made a four. I don't understand why wouldn't you get rid of the why wouldn't you get rid of the aces? I don't understand. Two cards. Um, so we can make this one. It's fourteen points. I guess that's better than our three fours, right? Better than the twelve. Victorious. Good job. 
the boy praises you, proffering a gift in commemoration of your first win. Oh, we got a gift. The marble dice. Change appearances. Add skills. The following rules are now available for play. That's like multiplayer parlor. Oh, that's interesting. You play multiplayer. Let's quickly change out those customization things. I feel like you give me shit. In with. Eh. Uh, they say they were. Were they in the options? Other. Uh Oop. not sure where it is. I don't know. Whatever. I guess we're not too worried about it. It's just, just the look of a dice, isn't it? Uh, right, Arbor, what you got? You got anything cool for us? A mercenary sword for 400 bucks. Is this what we have equipped? Hunter's attire. Poison. Good. Good. Pretty expensive though. Um, sure, let's get a bunch of base stuff for everybody first. Right, equip. Yep. Equip that. Alright, already then. Mercenary sword, yep. We have enough room for like two more party members as well. Yeah. Right, of course, what you got? Magic staff, that's new. Sure. Beautiful. Alright. Go back. That'd be all the proprietor asks. No, I would like to sell as well, actually. Equipment. We have like an old bunch of shit, do we? I wish this was quicker. <laughs> this could be real quicker. This is a, unfortunately, a situation where you decide that you decide that you want to do your style over function. Animal Crossing does this too. It's like they have an idea of a style and they don't want to fucking mess with it, so they make the menus take long, long to do, and it's frustrating to say the least. Puff carry. Hello. Nothing new. Hello, Shuja. The woman who fashions herself a missionary of love haughtily cries she's too beautiful and popular for her own good. Oh dear. Oh, that's it, is it? Okay. The woman tells you a monster stole something very valuable from her. If only someone could get it back for me, she sighs. What did it steal, you ask? Medicine, says the woman, to give my skin a lustrous glow. Okay. Apparently, monsters have been mugging people along this stretch of road lately. The Ivory Order is searching for where they're stashing the stolen goods. In the well? 
I'll go that way, I guess. <laughs> Let's head to the item shop real quick. Nothing new. All right, sweet. Okay, look at this. We're going to go to the doctor's house next time. Uh, I didn't expect to be playing a card game that entire time within a card game. It was uh, pretty crazy. If you want to see more of that card game, let me know, and maybe we'll come back and lay a date and do some more of that. Next time, we'll go to the doctor's house, ask him about the dragon, and then off we'll go for further adventure. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.